Hi and welcome to Mind123. I'm Chantal Broderick and today I'm speaking with psychotherapist Sarah Bergman. Sarah, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Hello Chantal, thanks for having me. Today can you describe for us what is depression? Okay, so depression is a persistent feeling of sadness and no interest in life really. I mean we all have a bad day where we have a low mood but depression is very different and the three signs that you see with people that have depression is that they have no self-worth, they're feeling very worthless about themselves, they also feel like the world is unfair, that nothing's going right for them and they feel like they don't have any sense of future, like the future is hopeless. So they're feeling very despondent, they're feeling very sad and miserable, and they're feeling like no one really understands them. What type of things do you see causing depression? Um, the causes of depression are really, you know, they're, they're varied and many. They can be um, behavioural or psychological or um, they can be environmental as well. So there's no one kind of cause. It can, can come from childhood, it can come from a life event. So yeah, it's quite a complex um, mental health issue that needs to be, you know, addressed. So if a client came to you and they had been feeling down for a little while mm. and they just wanted to speak to you and find out what's going on, how would you diagnose that, you know, it's maybe more than just feeling down, that they actually do have depression? Well, often what they talk about is this feeling of not being able to get out of bed, um, not having any kind of sense of value in themselves whatsoever. They feel totally overwhelmed. Um, they're crying all the time. Um, they also feel a bit angry and irritable, but really it's the isolation and loneliness and the inability to kind of function and be productive in life. It's really um, debilitating for them. So for anyone that's watching this at the moment that perhaps recognise some of those feelings that you've just listed, what would your advice be for them? Uh, my advice for them is to take it seriously because if you just ignore these signs, you know, it can get it can get worse. So reach out for support, go and see a therapist to walk with you gently through um, building hope again in your life because often people with depression feel very hopeless and alone. And if that doesn't help, it's also good to go and see a doctor and get some antidepressants. And then both of those things together can be very helpful and supportive. That is wonderful advice, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. Thanks, Chantelle.